So Parag, tell us with, you know, with all of this, what, what do things look like uh, going forward? The next few months in Asia, um, you say everyone is still trying to f find a way to, to, you know, to play both sides. Um, is, is the, is, is, are we moving toward more tension, less tension? I would like to think less tension. If you look at just the North Korea situation, there, you know, um, uh, Kim has met with President Moon. He's met with um, Xi Jinping. He's met with Vladimir Putin. Even uh, Shinzo Abe has said that he might entertain a meeting or a summit uh, with Kim as well. So clearly, Asians are trying to find a way to incrementally and peacefully absorb North Korea. There are other areas, Fareed, where, you know, over the last 30 years, we have been worried, and rightly so, about escalation and conflict and World War III breaking out in Asia, whether it's Taiwan, South China Sea, North Korea, the China-Japan China dispute. But in every instance, Asians have demonstrated sufficient maturity to dial down the tension, to walk back from the brink, to focus on their geoeconomic complementarities over their geopolitical frictions. And I don't see any reason why that pattern won't continue, even though we have to concede uh, Asia is a serious arms bazaar. But there is a growing sort of deterrence as well in the region, given all the maneuvering that's going on and uncertainty. And no one really wants to see their economic growth be disrailed, uh, derailed uh, or other kind of uh, significant instability that would require that the U.S. come in and reimpose itself as a hegemon in the region.